up guys, Edo 6 English Channel. Welcome back to another video. So on today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the new, uh, or not the new, but the Cash King Revo. It's a round bait cast drill that I've been looking at for uh, a little bit. So uh, on the side of the, oh, wrong side. On the side of the box here, as you can see the actual reel. This isn't really an unboxing too much. I mean, I'm gonna, it's the reel's in here, but I already like used it and put line on it and everything. I just decided to put it in the back for y'all guys' sake and whatever. Yeah, let's go ahead and, I guess, get into this thing so once you open it, it says keep fishing fun right there on that the little package and then you open it and boom there's your reel as you can see I already put a line on there usually it come wrapped in a clear plastic or plastic bag um, but so yeah once you take the stuff out here's the reel itself we'll talk about it here in a little bit so I'm gonna set that aside right here you have a little card that says uh, you can get like one of their braided lines for free if you scan this little QR code right there. This is going to be in it if you get it on Amazon because uh, apparently this reel is Amazon's best seller. So I guess they did like an offer for Amazon's best selling line uh, which is made by Casking. So sorry about that. So there's that and I'm definitely going to actually see if I can get this free line because uh, who doesn't like free braid? As you can see in the box, it comes with this little gray bag. One thing I absolutely love that casking did was they actually put like a little bag and you want to store your reel in there boom see so you got a little bag so yeah got a little carrying bag which I'm definitely gonna use a lot whenever I go on trips that's pretty freaking awesome I really love that a lot of these companies they don't put like a carrying bag for your reel uh, I just think this is cool that they took took it one step further uh, in putting stuff for their reels so yeah and then here's another here's the paper I guess it's the little assembly things right there it tells you how to disassemble and how to put a, put together your all right so as I was saying as you could see Wally the walleye was uh, passing through here <laughs> um, so yeah as I was saying about this paper this basically just shows you the information on how to take apart and put together your reel and stuff like that and all the parts so yeah guys um, let's talk about the reel one thing I really liked about the reel is that they have foam grip uh, handles which is one thing I really, really love on reels. But that's one thing that I really, really love. So when I took it out of the package, one thing um, I noticed is that it's pretty smooth for 45 bucks. If I didn't say that already, this thing is 45 bucks uh, on Amazon. I will leave it linked down below so y'all guys can check that out. Um, one thing I noticed about this reel is that it's metal. Um, I guess aluminum is, is what it is. And then um, when it, you first get the box, the... Uh, the clicker is going to be on so when you first take it out it's going to sound like this so how you take the clicker off is there's this little knob right above the the brake system i think that's the brake system but you just push it back and boom um the casting is actually um pretty smooth it feels good um another thing i really like about this reel is the little button right there because most bait casters like this have a little knob on the top right here so you'd have to press it here and then go straight to your spool to stop it. With this one, it's like any other bait cast reel. You just push it down, and then you can stop it right there. I never really liked the ones that had the, the little button right here on the sides, because it really was kind of a pain in the butt to deal with. Because you'd have to quickly, um, you know, put your thumb on the spool. Probably one of my most favorite things um, about this reel. This is the size 40. If I didn't mention that already. Um, so yeah, guys, this thing is a. 5 3 to 1 gear ratio, as you can see right there, 5 3 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, you can hold up to 12 pound uh, line on here, uh, 200 yards of it. For 16 pound test, uh, you can hold 180 yards of line on it. I have 15 pound test um, Pro Cat line. I can't remember what the drag system is, uh, but I think it's. Uh, it doesn't say on here. I don't think it says on the box either. But I'm pretty sure it's maybe 15 um, pound dragger. It's a 6 to 1 ball bearing uh, reel as you can see right ah, You can see right there on the top. I don't know how well y'all can see that. So yeah, I really, really like this reel. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty impressive reel. I'm really going to be using this really mostly for catfishing and stuff like that. That's why I got it for it. Its main purpose is catfishing. Um, and I usually pair it up on two rods. I'm going to go ahead and put it together and show you my main catfish combo on this thing. All right. So here's my, uh, the catfish combo that I use most of the time. Uh, this is the Shakespeare Ugly Stick GX2 series. It's black and red. 
So this reel matches really, really well with this uh, rod. These GX2 series are really good uh, for catfishing. They're probably some of my personal favorite rods to use for catfish. So um, that's why I have this on here. It's probably some of the strongest rods out there too. This is a six foot six um, medium rod. So I like to use these for the catfish that I catch down at Medi Park because it's not overkill and you can have a nice fight on them still. Here's the other uh, catfish rod that this reel is going to be paired up on. I usually use this for the bigger lakes and bigger catfish, but for Medi Park, I don't think it's still overkill. It's a medium heavy, um, so I think you'll still get away with it just fine if you go use it at Medi Park. It's an ugly stick um, catfish rod as you can see right there. And uh, this one looks pretty nice on this one too. Um, but I think it matches better on the GX2 series. This one's a 7 foot medium heavy like I said already. And uh, you can get this at Walmart for probably like 20 bucks. It's not an expensive combo. But it's really really, uh, it's a really good combo um, for catfishing. I usually don't like to use the high end rods and reels for catfishing. Because for the most part I'm going to be leaving them on the ground. And they're going to get scratched and messed up. So I wouldn't want to mess up a, a really expensive rod or reel. Um, catfish. I'm pretty impressed about this reel. I've heard a lot of good and a lot of bad about Cast King, but so far so good. I will definitely be doing a ton of videos on this reel. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think. Anyways guys, we'll see you on the next one. If you're new, go subscribe, leave a like on this video, and we'll see you next time. Tight lines guys. <laughs>